Okay, in this screencast we're going to cover uh, how to balance nuclear equations, what happens when a nucleus decays or changes into something else, uh, or emits alpha particles or beta particles. Uh, you'll want a periodic table while you're doing this to try to figure out what elements you have created in various cases. Uh, and uh, keep in mind in the beta decay we'll be creating either an electron or a positron, and in the alpha decay we'll be creating a helium nucleus, which is 4,2. Okay, so in our first one, it's really just about balance. Um, if you look, we have 234 nucleons left after the reaction in the new material that we've uh, created out of the old, if you will, uh, thorium, TH. That means we've lost four, pro uh, four nucleons. So the thing that we created must have four nucleons. And we've gone from 92 to 90. That means we must have two protons in that particular thing. Well, 4 and 2, that's helium. So we've created a helium nucleus. That's what's known as an alpha particle. So this is an alpha decay. Okay, in this next one, we've gone from 234 to 234. So we've kept the total number of nucleons the same, but we've added a proton. So we've increased our charge in the positive direction. Now that proton had to come from somewhere, so what happened was one of the neutrons uh, changed and in changing it emits it creates not only a proton but it also emits an electron uh, and then this thing right here is the anti neutrino which for our purposes is just good information to know it helps us deal with the energy um, change to keep the energy constant in this particular reaction uh, this is then a beta decay so beta alpha Okay, on to our uh, next reaction. Now we've got an electron uh, that has a positive charge on it. Now that seems weird because we're supposed to electrons are supposed to have a negative charge. So this is an antiparticle. It's the opposite of the electron. It's the positron. So that means we now have extra positive charge on the right. Now when we had negative electron up here, we went and gained an electron. So we had more uh, protons. We had more protons on the right. When we have the positron, we're going to end up having uh, more protons on the left. So we, that way we'll keep our charge balanced. So 92 uh, had to have come from 93. Uh, so now we can go to the periodic table and look for element number 93, and that's Neptunium, NP. Okay, and in this type of beta decay, the total number of nucleons stays the same. So it's 234-93 neptunium goes to 234-92 uranium plus a positron and then again plus a neutrino. Uh, in this case it would be a neutrino, not an antineutrino. And that's again a beta decay. Okay, and the next one, we have created a helium nucleus. That is the alpha particle. So this is definitely an alpha decay. And in the alpha decay, we just need to balance. So we had 234. We need to still have 234. That means this needs to be down to 230, since 230 plus 4 will be 234. And then 92 needs to come down to 90. 90 plus 2 will give us 92. Uh, so we go to the periodic table, and we look for element number 90. And we're talking thorium, so that's TH. Okay, so here are a few that we know the type of decay, and we're just going to have to write the entire rest of the equation. So I'm starting out with thorium, TH, uh, and we're going to change that through an alpha decay. So we're going to end up with a helium nucleus, which is 4,2. Uh, now again, it needs to be balanced, so we had 230 total nucleons, so I need to have 226. 226 plus 4 will give me 230. And we have 2 over here and we need to get to 90 so that's got to be 88. 88 plus 2 will give us 90. So it's just a case of balancing. Again, now I can go to the periodic table and look for element number 88 and that's radium Ra. So the larger thorium broke down into a smaller radium nucleus with a alpha particle also being emitted. So our total um, energy mass conversion stayed the same and our total
total charge stayed the same. Uh, now, next one's a beta decay, and it's we're giving off an electron. So we're going to have plus an electron plus an uh, antineutrino. Now, when we do that, we're getting more negative charge on the right to make up for that. And we also need more positive charge on the right. So this is going to be 85. Uh, and the total number of nucleons stays the same. So I need to look for element number 85 on the periodic table. And we're looking at uh, astatine, AT. Right. And now an alpha decay of radon. Well, there's our helium nucleus. So 4 plus a fourth from 218 is 214 nuclides in this new one. And 2 from 86 makes 84. So we go to 84 on the periodic table. And we're talking about polonium, named after uh, Marie Curie because she was from Poland. Um, that's the alpha decay. Okay, so uh, alpha. Now we'll uh, take uh, finally a beta decay with a positron of lead. So we're going to get a E positive, a positron plus a neutrino. Uh, <clears throat> and the total number of nuclides stays the same. But we have the positive over here. So to make up for that, we need to have uh, one less proton than we had before. So we have to go from 82 to 81. So here we had 82 positive charges. Over here we have 82 positive charges. Um, 81 on the table is thallium, TL. And that's our positron decay of lead. So uh, that's how you balance it. Again, you have to have the same number of nuclides on both sides. Uh, and then depending on and the same number of protons in the alpha decay. In the beta decay, we're going to have a neutron that's going to change into uh, something else, or a proton's going to change into something else. So those won't be the same, but the total number of nuclides will be the same for the original element in that case. So give those uh, equations a try and see how you do, and come on in and ask any questions.